Hello, my name is Karen Yeager and I'm the Dean of Academic Excellence and Innovation at Knox Grammar School and President of English Teachers New South Wales. And I'm going to be talking to you today about the HSC English Advanced Courses for Paper 2 and this is the modules. And as you've probably realised, they're the most challenging because this is the paper the advanced students do on their own, unlike the area of study which is done with the standard students. So you'll find that this is a lot more demanding in terms of the text that you're studying but also in terms of the concepts that you need to understand. So I'm going to be walking you through those modules today and talk, giving you some tips about things you can do to ensure that you're able to be well and truly prepared for the high school certificate. So first of all, I want to talk about um, the three modules which you're probably already very well aware of. The first one is module A and in my way of thinking, incredibly demanding because you've got a comparative study of two texts. And we'll have a look at all the concepts that are associated with this. The second one is the critical study of text. And that's where you've got to know in module B your text intimately, inside out, knowing the beginning, the end, if it's poetry, every single poem, speeches, every speech. And then, of course, module C. The last one, which I call the bookend to the HSC paper for English because it's representation and text. Now, with the area of study, you would have started with representation as a concept. That is how composers present meaning. And now you're ending with that with paper two. So it's a really nice way to end your paper in the HSC. You start and you end in the same place. So how do we get into these modules? Because that's the challenging part. One of the things you're probably well aware of now is that you need to develop thesis statements in response to the questions. And how do you get these thesis statements? Obviously by looking at the ideas in the text, by understanding the composers and their purpose and perspective, everything there is to know about these texts. But it's still challenging to come up with these thesis statements, particularly when you don't know what the HSC questions will be. So I think this actually works. Plato once said, man, a being in search of meaning. If you look at the entire stage six English course, it's actually grounded in humanism. It's grounded in, as Hamlet would have said, what piece of work is a man? So you ask this question, what do the texts tell you about the human experience? If you ask that for module A, B or C, you're going to find you'll start to understand the key ideas and it'll be less challenging. And I'll talk more about that as I get through every module and I'll come back to this notion of what do the texts tell you about the human experience. So if you ask that question, then you've got to challenge yourself to find the key line the moment or image in a text that conveys the overarching message. So, for example, if you're studying Module B, T.S. Eliot's poetry, you might say, what is the one line out of all the poetry that captures what he's trying to say about the modernist period and the human condition? Well, for to me, it's probably the line from Proofrock, do I dare? And do I dare means having the courage to face the world no matter what is in front of you. And that's what I want you to try and think about as we walk through these modules. The text you're studying for module A, for B and C, what are those key lines, those key moments, if it's a film, the key image and what message do they convey. And then I want you to look at the tension and the ambiguities in the text because often where the tension is, the ambiguity is, that's where the meaning will lie. Very few texts are into binaries so you're going to really have to look closely to see where is that element of conflict within the text and what is it telling me?